Shag Dogs, Twitter Swallow Beer Review. We are doing Miller Light. Uh, beer Advocate gives us one of measly 53. It's an American Light Lager. Four, well, I guess the ABV changed on it. It says 4.17 on it, Beer Advocate. It used to be 4.12. I don't know if it says it on the can or 4.2, but it says 4.17 on there. So I don't know if it changed the formula. Is it a four point Ronald Riot? If you're watching, is it 4.17 now? It's weird. If that is the case, that's kind of weird. Uh, Miller Brewing Company was part of Saab Miller, South African Brewery Miller. Um, the Saab part was apparently bought by Anheuser Busch, Indev, whatever. So Miller Brewing Company is still with Molson Coors, Molson. I guess they still on their own branch. Miller Brewing Company. Beats the fuck out of me, folks. It's almost like, you know, uh, anyhow, yeah, 53 light lager, apparently 4.17. I thought it was 4.2. All right, let's just do it. There's the can still. They've got the classic look. I wish they'd go back to the, the blue cans. As a matter of fact, I would really love for them to come out with the Vortex bottles again just because it was cool. All right, uh, here's that. Do a little bit of extra water in there. All right, let's do it, folks. There we go. We're going to pour this bad boy. Now, if they change, I don't know if Beer Advocate's correct or not, but if they change the ABV on this, the alcohol content from a 4.2 to 4.17, unless it's always been 4.17, and I've always thought it was 4.2. I don't know how I would get that confused, though, because since I used to drink this the most, this used to be my go-to beer probably from night, uh, 2008 to 2015, 16, you know, something like that. Got most of the can in there. Very clear, pale yellow, a little tiny head on there. Nothing much. It is in a, you know, pint glass instead of a Pilsner. It's a Pilsner style, right? It should be the Pilsner style glass, but anyhow. So it even does look lighter. Uh, it's one of the, of the light lagers. Bud Light, Coors Light, Miller Light. I thought Miller Light was the darkest of the three, actually. Whew. There isn't even a lot of whole bunch of smell in there. A little corny. I'm sure there's corn adjunct. You know, something in there. Corn syrup or something. To me, though, it's one of the best light beers, American light beers, to me. Just, just my opinion. One of the best light beers, I think, though. Well, we give it a sniffy. We give it a look -see. Let's give it a drink-see. Eh? Eh? Tastes different. Now, I haven't had one of these in a couple months or more. Hope this ain't where they're hiding the COVID because it tastes weird. It don't even taste like Miller Light. It tastes really weird. I don't know how to describe it. It don't taste like Miller Lite. They could have changed the ingredients up that much, right? ABV and the ingredients. Maybe they cheap it up really bad. I don't know. A little bit of corny adjunct. They really don't taste that great. I used to like this a lot better. I wonder if they changed something to this. 
Or maybe I got a bad can again. It's been sitting in that store for a while. I don't know. They're born on date or something on there. There's something on the bottom of the can, but I can't. The way they print it on there. September 2120, 2420. Probably September 20, 21st, 2020. It's one of those goodbye. So it's probably been sitting there for about three or four months. So it's probably an old Miller Lite, I'm guessing. I tell you, it tastes like it. I'm thinking it might be on the shelf for a while. I don't even think Miller Lite sells as good as they used to. I mean, I think the hardcore people are still buying it. I used to buy Miller Lite all the time, especially from 2013-ish up till... 2016, 17. That was my go to beer. If I wasn't doing beer reviews, I was drinking Miller Lite because it was cheap. The store I used to get it from, they had 12 packs for nine bucks, eight nine nine or something like that. 18 packs for 12 bucks. You know, I was like, buy Miller Lite all the time. Then all of a sudden, 2000, God, what, the last year Obama was in office? All of a sudden, the beer prices really went up, and then this one went up, and and then when this whole Anheuser Busch deal with the South, South African breweries, then the, they were never on sale again. So I don't know what the hell happened. But I swear I'm a beer advocate. This used to be higher, like a 58, 59, something. It's down to a 53 on beer advocate. And maybe it has gotten bad in the last couple of years. I don't know. It doesn't taste that great. It used to be taste great and less filling. But now it don't taste that great and it fills you up with gas. You get a little gassy with this one. There's something wrong with this one, or it's old. I'd like to thank uh, Jeff G for watching earlier. I'm not going to get many viewers on here. It's just pointless. I, and I, uh, it's, it's channeled like a lost cause, I guess. Because we're getting old, uh, a certain person told me. Uh, we're, I'm on Tinder one day, and they're like, "Yeah, look at look at uh, look at all the ones above the age of this. They don't smile anymore. If they are smiling, it's not that smile they had when they were younger. Now look at the young women. They're all smiling. They got they're full of life. They have that. The rest of them are older, say than 35, whatever hell your age is, 33. Their life, they're out of life." They've had two or three kids. Their ex beat them up. Uh, this, this, and this. They wor they're worn out and torn out. You know? And I said, recently, I said, well, maybe that's the same thing with our beer review. You know, we're very spontaneous. We're laughing, joking all the time. Now we do beer reviews. And we're just like, uh, here I am, an old man doing beer reviews. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe we're just old. We're too old to be doing this. I don't know. I mean, granted, there's people that are older than us still doing it, but maybe we're just better when we're younger. It's a possibility. Maybe, maybe it's just me. Maybe I was better when I was younger. Maybe I was better when I had a significant other giving me crap about the beer review. So that moved me forward on the beer review. And it's a possibility. Well, I'm going to try to finish this one. So I want to get this over with. Yeah. Come on here to put on a good show. And I get one viewer. And I thank Jeff G for watching. Yeah. Can't always be a great beer reviewer, but what I can do is try to be the best beer reviewer for me this particular day. I mean, even Jeff G, that's all he could handle is two videos, and he's like, okay, he's done for tonight. He can't watch this garbage all night long. He's got a life. Get in there, review. What do you think? Uh, nobody live. Uh, uh. Best. Be <laughs> uh.
big guy mullets. Let's check it. It's like a good neighbor, stay home again. Tell Jammer look about Trey Kennedy, right? Trey Kennedy. So Trey Kennedy, I got my own blood finding other beer reviewers. Some guy named Trey Kennedy reviewing seltzers. That was funny. Got a Detroit Tigers. Somebody made a fan. Took his nachos. Well, DeAndre Jordan ain't fat. Jacksonville, Chicago. Oh, trailer, I remember him. <laughs> Damn, that must be old Brunel. Mark Brunel and Keith Trailer. He also played for the Broncos, I believe. Defensive tackle on the Bears, interception right back. You know, probably got a ways. And Brunel was. <laughs> Brunel, uh, damn, for Jacksonville. How long ago was that shit? Holy shit. Holy shit. All right, Shag Dog. Get off that crap. What a, that's the most horrible beer he's ever done ever. Holy shit. Ah, uh, man, this it's in my head too. Ah, uh, son of a bitch. Oh, let's go ahead and finish this. I think I poured it all in, right? Yeah, I got it all in. Let's brew a couple more drops here. Let's go ahead and down it. We're going to chug this, folks. We didn't grade this yet. Let's go ahead and grade it. This tastes kind of weird. I don't know if it's because it's old. I mean, it still has a, another month le life, shelf life. But it's not the best Miller Live I've ever had. Um, God. 
Maybe I just don't like Miller Lite anymore. I don't know. I'm going to give it a C plus and a swallow. No, a straight up C and a swallow. That's how bad it is tonight. Straight up C and a swallow. Because it still beer. I still love it. This tastes like some shit you get off some dirty tap at a, a local hole in the wall bar. Like, oh, you got Miller Lite, huh? Look, sounds classy. And the way it's spelled, L-I-T-E. Then you get the picture of that and you pour it in your glass and you're like... And if you knew it didn't have alcohol in it, you probably would spit it out. But you know it has alcohol in it, so you're like, well, okay. Which I can't believe, because Miller Lite used to be like 4.2, I swear. And they're saying, according to Beer Advocate, it's 4.17. I can't see nothing on the can, because these cans are hard to read. I guess I'm just going to go with Beer Advocate score, or... Uh, uh, they really do this beer justice, so I should have bought two of these. Uh, but they were pretty cheap, uh, 16 ounces, right? So I had two 16 ounces and that big 24 ounce. But the 16 ounces is like a dollar or something. At least it's better than uh, going to craft beer and paying two something, three, four, five, six dollars for one beer, yeah, for a 12 ounce or 11 ounce. So Miller Lite still wins in the price category, I guess. You know, yeah, Miller Miller has come up with some ingenious stuff. Uh, it didn't really last long. I forgot the one they had where it had a little hole thing there, a little thing. You take a key and punch a hole in it, so when you drink the can, the air went in that little hole, supposedly. Basically like a funnel, or, yeah, not a funnel, uh, shotgun. Not really a shotgun, though, but supposedly – Air would be going in that little tiny hole while you're drinking, so you'd be able to chug it better. I don't think anybody ever proved that theory. Then they had the vortex bottles, which I loved because I thought, wow, vortex bottles. A little corkscrew thing inside the bottle, inside the inside part of the bottle. I like the vortex. How genius was that? Now, whether it really worked, I mean, the beer, well. The beer is coming up. I mean, pretend it's the bottle. There's the beer swirling through the corkscrew of the bottle into your mouth. I mean, yeah, doesn't make sense. It was just something cool and nifty, I guess. And I forgot what the hell the little fan of the can was that you punch a hole in. I tried it once or twice. I bought it. I was like, this is stupid. You better off just popping a hole in the bottom and shotgun it, you know? Shotgun of the beer. I haven't done that in a while. Maybe I should do that on video. Hmm. Or a funnel. Maybe we should do a funnel one these days. Put three beers in that bitch. Funnel it down. I'm too old for that shit, though. Kids still do that kind of shit. I think these kids are pussies today. They, they can't do that shit. What do you think? Do kids still funnel beers and shotgun beers? I don't, I don't see any proof of it, but I guess I can probably find some YouTube videos if I look. Let's check. A shotgun and a beer. Shotgun. And let's try a Miller Lite. We'll just say for the hell of it. Shotgun of the Miller Lite. Miller Lite shotgun. This is from five years ago. Eight years. Okay, here's 11 months ago. You're doing it with the twisty bottles. Oh, the twist caps. It's not working quite as good as with a regular can, but. Okay, so they shotgun some, you know, the aluminum bottles, the twist cap, so they punch the hole in it and they're twisting the cap off at the same time. Would have been easier with a regular can and popping the can open. Uh, here's somebody else. There you go, buddy. He couldn't even do it. 
himself. He had to have his friend pop the top up. Horrible. Uh, let's check these guys. I already saw that one. That's the most recent one I saw. Let's see. One year ago. Here we go. Garage beer, shotgun and beers tutorial. I see light and Miller light. Right. Wait, well, kid... What are you guys doing then? Are you staying here or are you going over the bells? He's got kids All on right. here. Stay right here. Right. Today's episode brought to you by Tommy's Electric. Right, well, I got the kids settled. Garage here. He got the kids settled. He's, kids are gone. They're at the park. Now he's in the garage. Screwdriver in the middle of your light can. Shotgun to terror. To tar- I just use a key or something. You don't need a damn screwdriver. Just take a key and jab that damn can. He, he really screwed it up. Folks, I'm going to show you this. All right. Damn, these people suck at shotgun and beers nowadays. Let me share this yet. Share screen. Chrome and garage beers. Dude screws it up so bad. He's got the can completely sideways, and when he opens the beer, half to not half, but a lot of beer goes out the damn section here. You like this? He's got the beer completely sideways. And a, what an idiot! Can you see that? Okay, let's do it. Put it enlarge it and play it. So he's got a can here. He's got a kid settle. Right. Look at this. I was twisting it. Just jamming in there, dude. Watch this. Right here. All the beer goes out the side there. Horrible. You're supposed to do it like this, dude. Not sideways. I'm out here cleaning the garage. Got a Stone Tangerine Express IPA. It's an India Pale Ale. It is 6.7% alcohol. It's made by Stone Brewing. Oh, maybe this guy could do it right. They also brew it in Richmond, Virginia, if you didn't know. Now, it's uh, it's got the tangerine and pineapple. It's a little different, um, but it's definitely an IPA I've had before. Really you guys doing a shotgun IPA? Oh no. This is uh this is a good beer. It's a solid, solid brew. Um if you like IPAs, you like the the little heavier uh heavier where you got the case like that stone I was drinking earlier, you're gonna get yourself in trouble. You're gonna start cutting things wrong, you're gonna screw up the tractor, you're gonna cut a finger off. I know, maybe you won't, but you get about three or four of those stones in you and you're in deep shit. So we gotta go with the light beer from time to time. I see I light. see light here, like we just talked about. You can sometimes do that pump, thumb pop thing. I'll try it here again. I did it a second ago, but I'll try it again. Nothing. So I've tried it a, a thousand times. I've done it twice. There's people that say that you can do them. Oh, I did it! Look at that. Oh, with the thumb. The thumb pop, pop thing's pretty nice, but. The other thing I like to do is I got this little tool here, that little tip down there. Do a little cut, do a little poke, and we're off to the races with another garage shot. Okay, but you're in the garage. There's plenty of other tools out here that we can use the shotgun here. In this case, we're gonna do the hatchet. Again, make sure you're keeping the beard out. Nice pop. Nice hole. That was stupid. You're wasting a whole shitload of the beer. Drink and rank. Do you have a drink you'd like us to rank? Let us know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyhow, very stupid. These fucks can't shotgun beers like we used to back in the day. And Shag Dog is going to prove it to you. Next time I do an outdoor beer review, I'm going to shotgun something. And we'll do the old school with a key. Let's put a fucking key in it. Yeah. 
Key it, bad. You gotta do it quick so you don't lose it. You don't want to spill beer all over. You don't want beer spraying out and beer going all over. You want to savor that flavor. You want to get that hole in it. Bam. You don't want it sideways when you open this part. Beer is flying out of the side. You don't want that shit. That's a waste of beer. That's party foul to me. All right. Now, I am almost 50 years old. And I probably can't shotgun beers as good as I used to because I do have a little part of my breathing apparatus cut out. So even just doing certain things, I feel claustrophobic, like I can't breathe, you know, just even doing that, like holding it up to my mouth, those stupid masks we got to wear because of COVID-19, all that kind of stuff. But I will try it. Hopefully I don't choke to death on a damn thing, but I will try to show you how to shotgun a beer. You do not hold a beer sideways and poke a hole in it and then open it and beer fly out this end over here. I can understand if you poke a hole in it. Best thing to do is poke it that way. You might get a little bit out. And then, hello, there's something called gravity. It's not the flat earth, folks. It's the round earth, but you got, there's gravity going all Areas of the Earth, underneath Antarctica, up Uranus, Mars, Venus, everything. Gravity. Let's be a little bit smart about things and not spill a lot of beer, okay? So what I've seen so far, just watching a couple of shotgun videos. They don't know how to shotgun beers. Now, let's look at some... Uh, What's the other one I was thinking of? Uh, funnel. Let's look up beer funneling. I probably should be done with this beer already, but. Let's see, four years ago, one year ago. Six beers in under a minute. Beer chug. All right, well, if he's doing six beers in under a minute, that sounds like a plan. Oh, no. That actually, I'm going to get off this ad here in a second. Oh, shit. Switch to there we go. There we go. Six beers under a minute. Now, this sounds like a challenge for Jammer. You know what? Let me stop this. Hold on. I think I didn't do the... Uh, Audio, because I always forget the audio. Huh? All right. All right, share screen. Audio, that's what I forgot to do. Right, there we go. All right. Six beers in the beer ball right here. See if we can fit that much in our stomach. So I have a couple of beers here, as you can see. He's going to do six different six Old Milwaukee. Jeff G would like that. Four Old Milwaukee's and two Coronas. We're going to be attempting to put all of them inside this beer ball and chug the entire thing. All six beers. going to fucking lay down when he does it. Identical to 2.13 liters or 72 ounces total. So stay tuned, guys. We're going to get ready to this. Let's go. All right, I'm sure this is going to be quite a process, but I'm going to begin to start pouring the six beers into the beer. Hopefully it all fits, but uh, I'm probably going to have to wait for the foam to go down also. So let's get this started. Is there something holding the beer in at the bottom? I don't think you're going to fit six beers in that thing. We'll see. Actually, the funnel isn't very straight. Uh, it's, uh, it's not very level, so I'm probably going to have to fix it. Okay. Yeah. I don't think you're going to fit six beers in that thing, dude. I'd be lucky to get three beers in that shit. Well, maybe can up at that top part. Maybe it fills enough. 
You're number four. Yeah, you might be able to get six in there. That was not advertise, so he bought that. Here. I would never try to shotgun six beers. That's like one more beer. There's five beers in there. We got one more. Can you open uh, a bottle of beer with a ham? Let's see. I guess you can. All right, this is the sixth and final beer. That's all I understand what he's gonna do. Lay down to drink it? I don't Oh my god, guys, this is insane. You can see the beer box is literally full of the entire room. It's holding two over two liters of beer, 72 ounces. We're gonna attempt to chug it. That's cool. Alright guys, this is training for the six. Beer towel shopping. We have six full beer inside this beer bottle. Two liters. Look at it. Full to the very brim. Let's see if we can shop in it. Stay tuned for the six beer towel shopping coming up. And uh, this is the exact same amount we're going to need to get down. So let's try it. Alright, guys. Ready? Three. Two. It's hard to do like that, though. I might have to take a break. I don't know. This is like two years. It's crazy. Three, two, one. Shut. Oh, my God. This is insane. Three, two, one. Shut. I'm nervous. Right, okay. Three, two, one, shut. Did he actually start yet? I don't think you'd be able to do that with that, the way it's going into your mouth. Yeah. Yeah, you dummy. You gotta be have that shit like straight. You should have got on your knees or something. <laughs> what a pussy. Well, he did get about two or three beers down already. I'll give him that. There he goes. Ah, that's too bad, actually. <laughs> 